Gabby almost fell on top of me. Oh, no. Oh, no. That would have been so bad. I would have hated that. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> um, anyway. Oh, no, Mommy, don't smother me again. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in the Hooter shirt, please. <laughs> I wish I wore my Hooter shirt. Oh, my oh, God. Damn it. You I wish I one? had a Hooter shirt. Yeah, I can change that for you. Ooh. She's going to make me a Hooter shirt. Oh, yeah. oh, so, oh, So if nice. we want to do matching ones and come on the two pod Hooter with Hooter shirts. Oh, my God. That would be a, Two yeah. nosy Hooters. Two nosy Hooters. That's a fun crossover. Hooters sues you for all your worth. <laughs> 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 we do represent the brand. Yeah. <laughs> the one time I went to a Hooters, what? No, I've I've gone twice. But the first, the the reason I have this shirt, yeah. I know. Wow. It's I got passed at Hooters. <laughs> I'm passed. <laughs> 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 they they let me do comedy. They let me go in the green room at Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's when you go in the kitchen and everyone screams at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one bringer I defend. <laughs> I went because I played on the boys' baseball team, which, like, total dyke move, right? <laughs> that checks out for you. <laughs> it checks out so deeply. And Bisexual? <laughs> yeah, on the way it's... here, she told me that her dream is to work in a tiny baseball museum. <laughs> yes. That's true. Wait, 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 wait. The museum is tiny, or it's just, like, little fields, like a little, like no, a train set? the museum for tiny, tiny baseballs. Yeah, the, the, the baseballs have to be small. It's for many people. Wait, can you tell your Hooters story? Oh, many yes. Many people? So I, I, I'm I, the coach of the team was very much like you're a girl, but I'm not going to treat you different. But it like applied to everything. It was like it was very nice. He was, but he was like, you're going to carry equipment. And I was like, all right, cool. And he was like, and you're coming with us to Hooters. And I was like, great. So we all go to Hooters, like the whole team, because we like won a bunch of games and got to the playoffs. And that was the reward. How old were you? I was like 18. Okay. But some of the kids were like 15. That's pretty weird. It was super weird. How do you become a man? <laughs> <laughs> this is the rite of passage. Did you go? Did you go to the Hooters? I have young? not once been to a Hooters. I think they rebranded. They became like nautical themed, which is really insane. What the fuck? Yeah, because they were like, oh, we can't do the like two thousands misogyny Hoot thing ours. anymore. Yeah. Hoot ours. Hoot ours. <laughs> <laughs> I took a friend to Hooters for their birthday a couple years ago, thinking like. Oh, this will be so fun! Like two queers at Hooters, like oh irony, haha! And then it was just like we were at Hooters and we were just like <laughs> patrons at Hooters, and it felt very weird. We were some of the only people there, and we got asked three different times if we were from out of town. <laughs> <laughs> Are they, you know, <laughs> from out of town? Yeah, <laughs> we're like no, <laughs> we live in North Carolina, like you guys. We just hang out at different spots usually. Yeah. <laughs> How are the wings? They were disgusting. We, we were like, oh, we should have no. got a cookout tray. This was r ridiculous. This is the first time I've heard that the food at Hooters wasn't good. Because I always bad. heard people are like, no, 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 you don't understand. The food's really good. No, those are people that just want to be around tits. Those are yeah. people that are trying to justify. My kind of people. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. yeah. The Lucas Dude. Arnold school of people. <laughs> our, our, our server at Hooters was like, I want to be friends with you guys. I really need more friends. I threw a birthday party for my dog this weekend and no one came. <laughs> and then we saw her at a party like three weeks later. What? We were walking into the party. We were both like already really nervous to be at this party. And she was like, she was like, oh, I recognize you guys. I served you at Hooters. And we were like, no. Did she bring the dog? No, it was not her dog's <laughs> birthday party. No one well, went well, to no, that. not like that quickly. Again. Oh no, the dog. Wasn't. Or maybe it's seven every year. The dog, the dog wasn't there. Oh, I'm sorry. And, <laughs> yeah, just do a lot of. Do you guys talk again? No. Oh. <laughs> but you keep in touch with the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the dog is like, this bitch is fucking crazy. Yeah, he's like, he's like, she is the only person that showed up to my birthday party. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that poor dog. Yeah, I feel bad. I feel so bad. I like the food at Hooters. I had like I didn't have wings though. I had like um like coconut shrimp. Oh, it was honestly pretty good. Yeah, hmm. but I liked. So yes, there were boobs, but mainly I liked like talking to the waitresses because mm -hmm. they were just like really nice. Oh yeah. Uh, but some of I the think that's I think that's the the pull for Hooters is the waitresses. <laughs> 
Yeah. So well, I mean, yeah, but the the pull is like their physical attributes. I was in it for their brains. Mm. I was in it for their sad tales of woe. <laughs> <laughs> I love a hot girl telling me about her sad dog. (laughs) Why do you think no one came to her birthday? Um, Because her dog was a bitch? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, It seems like her dog was generally unlikable. Uh, (laughs) I don't know. A nasty woman. Just a bad hang? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Remember nasty woman? Oh, my God. Oh, never forget. No. I had a t-shirt that said that. (gasps) My mom gave it to me. Come on. I didn't wear it or nothing. I think I've actually <laughs> cut it up by now. Wait, <laughs> what kind of shirt. person is your mom? Is she similar to you or is she, wh- what is she like? My mom is not similar to me. Well, my mom is um, like, she's, uh, uh, took us to uh, like a Christian rock church mm-hmm. for most of my life. Um, and she likes yoga and as a suicide prevention counselor wow no yeah. shit yeah. my mom did that too actually really she used to like work christian on the rock lines. yeah she my mom did christian rock <laughs> you know the band creed I've heard they're of- christian rock yeah they are oh i had no idea actually. they're one of those sneaky christians where they don't admit they're christian but they are but they are oh. christian. yeah but anyway that's my mom's uh, band wow yeah your mom is Creed. Brenda Creed. <laughs> <laughs> Dox her right now. <laughs> she lives at uh, Jesus Avenue. She, she lives at uh, 1500 Creed Street. Yay! Yeah! 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 Welcome to Two Nosy Meerkats. Welcome back. We, we got... what You do it, Lucas. All right. You platform women, because I'm sick of it. You hate women? No, I, I love women, but I'm sick of being the only one who platforms them. You see what he just did? It was well timed yeah. for the context of what you were saying too. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that off camera. You were like, Lucas always writes the smartest jokes. <laughs> and then he did that. I bullshit. didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> denial, denial. I'm gonna do like one of those South Park like Canadian things. So I'm gonna make your mouth move right when it says that. <laughs> I love Lucas Arnold's jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have a wonderful comedian, uh, textile designer. I will say, I, I, I will say that. Uh, she is the host and producer of Acme Review, a comedy and music show extraordinaire. Give a round of applause for Julia Desmond. Hey! Yay! I want it to be totally quiet. Give a round of applause <laughs> for Julia Desmond. Yeah. Fix it in post. Fix it in post. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have just cut it out and it's, we're just going to be like. <laughs> just like re- just real silent. Just very Edgar <laughs> Allan Poe-ish. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Coquettish. It's mm. a good word. Indeed. That's a very good Coquettish word. Coquettish is a yep. good word. It also makes me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. A croquette is a... Is, is that a food? It feels like something you yeah, would get in a cafe. I've also only eaten three croissants today, so... Ooh. Um, That's all anyway, the food anyway, thanks groups. for you having me it. on your podcast. Oh, we're very glad to have you here. So, you were talking a little bit about your mom. What is your dad like? Oh, my dad is cool. Uh, my dad is like a uh, pretty serious guy, but then he'll make a joke and it's pretty funny. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, you know, we don't know how to relate to each other other than <laughs> <laughs> other than about like food. Yeah. Okay. And, um uh he's a good good guy. Yeah. 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 Do you feel you're more similar to your dad or your mom? I think I'm pretty much right in the middle. Actually, a friend of mine You're a centrist. Yeah, I'm like a I'm like a centrist. Yeah. Well, a friend of mine met both of my parents like I had dinner with all of us and he described it as um that I have my mom's like uh social skills but my dad's more reserved uh, demeanor Mm. interesting and i liked that because they were both positive things about me yeah Yeah. (laughs) and i like when (laughs) people you look like you're positive yeah these are positive things and they're positive things that someone observed within me (laughs) Mm. so that happens Yeah. yeah i've noticed about you that you're like the best in your family yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed easily that. my favorite of your family. Really? Yeah. Oh, so? easily, easily. Hey, most of us are dead, so I'm kind <laughs> hey, of. Hey, let's a, fucking go. Kind of a front runner there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, most of my family, uh, if you include everyone, they're also dead. So, not really original. There's yeah. that Louis C.K. D- not to bring him up. Wow, already, already. But there's that joke where he's like, most shout out to the fallen. 
<laughs> so far, we've covered Hooters, giving women platforms, and Louis C.K. Oh, yeah. We are like two minutes in. <laughs> And Creed. <laughs> then Creed. That's the trage- tragedy plus comedy equals time of subjects. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Creed's the, be- Creed's the best. Anyway, one. you're bringing up your favorite comic. Louis, uh, I did used to love it. Well, he said most people are dead. Most people yeah. are dead. Yeah. It's true. It yeah. was a very astute observation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, one time he was like, uh, hey, I'm in a hotel all alone. That was another observation he had. He said that to you. Yeah, he said that to me <laughs> specifically. Yeah. He's just like, yeah. So, so what are you up to? It's a pretty good. Uh, it's like you do that or something. Impression. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. The other day, I remembered a Louis C.K. I was at work. Mm-hmm. I work at a coffee shop. I was at work and plug. Uh, I something that happened in the coffee shop reminded me of a Louis C.K. bit that. It it, it, I, it made me laugh out loud to remember the bit. <laughs> Do you know the bit about the dog phone? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's, like, he's like, I'm such a fucking idiot. I saw someone walking their dog and holding a phone. And I was like, <laughs> I can see it always makes me laugh. It sucks. <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like, oh, it must be some kind of dog phone. <laughs> <laughs> And, so and I just, good. I saw someone like holding uh, their dog leash and their phone. And I thought of that and I just like, <laughs> like started laughing. And then my coworker was like, what are you laughing at? <laughs> and you're like, and I, I like, cannot say. I was like, oh, I'm not telling. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no one wins here. No like, one they wins. I something good and feminist and, and <laughs> awesome. Like my first shift with them. I'm just like laughing silently to myself. They're like, what are you laughing at? I'm like, <laughs> this killer Louis C.K. bit. <laughs> The only other thing they've learned about me in the day is that I do stand up. <laughs> just like, yeah. oh, no. Oh, no. She's the war. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit I saw a clip from a recent special of his. It like came up on my TikTok feed and it ju- it made me break. And it was so good. It's where he says, like, here's the thing about parents. If you haven't had a parent die. All right. One of your parents is going to die. And the other one is just never going to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> and that got to my soul. Uh, do you, you have you do you have a dead parent? Yeah, and he's then got DPs. Yeah, yeah, I got DPs. Yeah, you got yeah. DPs. Yeah, mm. so, I got yeah. APs. Alive parents. You have. Yeah. Oh, so you have. She always reminds me of that. Just I don't know. Oh, I'm talking about the AP exams. In, oh, excuse me. Uh, in high school, you know about that. You remember this? Yeah, I've I've I'm familiar with them. Yeah. You know, I bet that you were able to get into those AP classes because of your alive parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's why you were able to focus on school. Get her ass. Yeah. That's true. That we should bring up that the schools do discriminate based yeah. on if your parent is dead. <laughs> I got a true. I got a two on the AP English exam. It was bad. Damn. Wow. I can't I can't read for shit. Really? Oh yeah, I'm a re- I'm a real bad reader. It's really hard for me to stay focused on it. I have no idea what That's yeah. surprising. You have a really good vocabulary. I'm good at faking it. Uh, you I've, can't really fake a vocabulary because like then it would just be like, you're using that word wrong. Yeah. I know mm. because this happens to me all the time. What do you use wrong? Um, I recently found out that I have been saying the word haphazard incorrectly my whole life. <laughs> and it's Wait. one of those words that I'm like, oh, I know what that means. And it's like something I can work into daily shit. So like I say it pretty often. And what I does it mean? Haphazard means like, um, le- isn't it kind of like sloppy? Yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. It's like, um, like, oh, that Jenga tower's haphazard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or low stakes haphazard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to imagine anything dangerous right now. I'm in a new environment and I'm still getting used yeah. to it. <laughs> the Jenga tower is pretty dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. The Make second Jenga noise. tower, even more dangerous. Okay, sorry. That's so funny. Okay, sorry. That is so funny that you just said that. <laughs> See, nobody thought the second Jenga tower was gonna fall. <laughs> when the second Jenga tower fell, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> "Wait, this was no accident." It's the Jenga Pentagon that no one talks about. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that that it, it was so great. I almost made a callback to when we were in the Uber on the way here. You can't do that. You can't no, do yeah. That. No, go on, go on, go on, go on. Just, okay. just go for it anyway. It's You're like our guest. Go for it. The, when the when when it, at the end of the movie, remember me, and he's inside of the Jenga tower. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this movie. I don't know what's going oh on. Oh my god! It's this 
movie that's been coming back on like the Twitter TL. Okay. Where it's a whole movie. <laughs> you didn't have time to say timeline. In the TL. I'm cool. Hey, she's a woman in a rush. All right. Can you? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we got an hour pl- plus to get through everything. We You're gotta. Right. We gotta make this snappy. Hey, okay? Julia. Fucking cool it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. I have to take accountability. I was being a giant cunt just now. <laughs> You're, are you listening and learning? And, and trying to do no better? No. No. <laughs> not <but> really. <laughs> but there's this movie where Robert, yeah, yeah. it's a whole movie. There's like romance. There's history. There's love. There's friendship. Uh-huh. It's like an entire plot of a real movie. And then it's almost it, like a movie. But then <laughs> it's not. Because then at the end, the twist is that Robert Pattinson, after he discovers so much, is just in one of the Twin Towers in 9-11. Oh, I've heard. Okay, I have heard about this. Yeah. And then there's like a girl who plays his sister who's like sitting in a classroom and on the chalkboard it says September 11th, 2001. Wait, I have an idea. What's your idea? What if they just literally had no idea how to end the movie? I think that is what I happened. Think that's is what that happened, a, do you probably re- that has because it's so out of nowhere. Yeah. Or is it an adaptation from a book? Ooh. Nine yeah, Eleven, Harry po- a memoir. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> they adapted it from Harry. They just took a lot of creative liberty. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They're like, fuck that magic shit. <laughs> Let's get it. Nine <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's get Bush in on this. <laughs> They're like, and why does it have to be in London? Okay, <laughs> nobody cares about London. That would that would honestly be kind of crazy if J.K. Rowling went on Twitter and just said Bush did Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, and it's true. Yeah. Grindelwald is Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to make Harry Potter references on a podcast. Are you a Harry Potter fan? I read Harry Potter when I was in the psych ward just like everybody else. But <laughs> it, like... It's not like I'm a big fan. Do they just have Harry Potter in the psych ward? Yeah, it's one of the only book series that they had there. It's one of the only places you can get it now. It's one of the- <laughs> They just hand it to you. Yeah. yeah. Wait. What else? What else was like? If you remember, what else was available for um, yeah, in the psych? Well, which one are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many? How many psych wards? Um. Oh Jesus. You're um, a sommelier. Like this one had uh, notes this of. One, oh. <laughs> This one's got more um, Hunger Games. Mm. Um, <laughs> no, they. Did, I, I don't think they had those there. No, they did have the Hunger Games because I remember being like, I shouldn't be able to read this right now. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of a fucked up series. Yeah. Kids oh killing kids. That's what half these people are here for. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, That'll put they, you right they back. Go to different places. <laughs> You're right usually. back in the ward. Yeah. 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 Name names. No, actually, don't. Please don't. We no, want you to no, be no, safe. No, no, no. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, what was what was your favorite psych ward? Uh, I have no idea what. This, yeah. <laughs> this always happens when I bring up the psych ward. Everyone's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, everyone's man. like, what happened there? Or are you okay? Blah blah blah. Bullshit. Mm. It was like totally fine. It was like a totally standard psych ward visit, and then a totally standard year in uh, residential g- treatment girls' home. It's hmm. Super normal. It's and I read Harry Potter. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Did so it, it was all did good. Did it hit different it's in the ward? Fun. Yeah, dude, uh, like when you deprive yourself of media, anything you consume is so interesting. Yeah, oh my God. I believe yeah. that 100%. Yeah. Did you ever, did you guys ever watch the show Top Gear? No. Oh, no. it was like one of my favorite shows as a kid. And they did this challenge of like the three presenters, like living in a car just for 24 hours where they literally can't get outside the car. And I remember one of the funniest bits was like one of the presenters, Richard, you know, like if you, the, like the, the eye visor, what, what do you call that? The thing that swings down? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the vi- he like. He didn't pull it down until like the twentieth hour because he was like, "There's writing on that, and I wanted to save it for later." Writing just, on it. There was like writing on it, just oh, as a thing to read. That's as a so thing. funny. Yeah, it's like caution. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. They didn't have their phones in the car. I guess that wouldn't nope. be a very interesting show. Just like watching people in a car. Like <laughs> this was in the like early to mid two thousand, so it was before oh. like smartphones were like they really oh. before they hit their stride they before they a, found uh, themselves. So they had a razor <laughs> phone. Probably, yeah. Or those little bricks, the Nokia bricks, you know, with that, oh, where the arrows like left but also like upright. And yes. It, yeah, that yes, one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Those had some games. Those had oh, some yeah. games. They had Snake. Snake. Snake is always good. Snake is still like the best game. Mm. I like the, the one where um, the little ball comes down. You have to hit the, the bricks at the top and you have to move the little, um, what is that one called? Sex. Yeah. That's, that's what sex is like. Yeah. yeah. The sex is when the balls come down, <laughs> yeah. cascading yeah. from an 
from a high above place that you don't see. <laughs> you gotta yeah. hit them. And you got <laughs> You gotta hit them all. Hit them as hard as you can. As you break them possible. You just break them. Just break them in half. You bust them. Is that what I should do next I, time I hook up with a man? Which might happen. Yes, exactly. You need it for the alg. For the algo. Stop making callbacks to before the podcast began. Oh, was that before? Damn it! This Fuck. was this was a callback to. I said that sometimes I turn men on my hinge, not because I want to see men, but because it, if you if you put men on. They swipe on you more, so you become a higher swipe profile in the algorithm. Mm. And I brought that up as a point when Gabby was uh, saying that she thinks she's pretty sure she's bisexual. I was like, <laughs> sounds like maybe not. <laughs> You're like, you want to work in a baseball museum? You only turn men on to like put yourself higher in the algo, <laughs> yeah. so women get you attracted. Treat, women. You treat men the way Gary V treats a hashtag. Who's Gary V again? He's like, he's this high pitched voice guy who's like, if you want to get big, just this is this is how you do it. I wish that I was like you when I was poor, but now I'm rich, and so I can't be like you. I wish I was you. He's like, you ever seen Gary V? Uh, no, and I have no idea what like he meant. By yeah, that. nor do I. <laughs> it's just gibberish. It's just gibberish. He's is he like Tony Robbins or? He's something? kind of like Tony Robbins of like trying to. He's he's a business guru guy. Who's who, I like, for one am inspired. Yeah. Sorry, are we boring you? I'm sorry. I uh, have been awake for a while, but that's that's good. I'm really in the swing of it existing right that's now. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Edit that out. Edit that out. <laughs> Edit that out. I didn't like yeah. the way I sounded. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like the way you were yeah. swinging and existing. Yeah. yeah. How's yeah. that feel? How do you perceive your own existence? Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? This podcast is called Two Nosy Mirror. Oh, wait, that does make sense. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, why the fuck are you asking me about the psych war? About how I feel about existence? <laughs> We're just doing the premise. I didn't explain you it. You could very also well. just no and us and just be like, my favorite color is blue. And my, just, and yeah. 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 Just my, ignore our questions. My favorite color is green. And the way that I feel about existence is um, I kind of feel like we're all just kind of on like a like a treadmill you know like early like mm. we're like floating and then yeah. like sometimes the resistance gets higher mm. wow and that's, that's actually where, a good analogy that's where the treadmill came to mind yeah uh yeah sometimes you're just kind of cruising and other times it's like you're still moving forward but it's harder uh what kind of green is your favorite Mm. Um, I like like leaves. Yeah, mm. yeah, especially like a wet, like rainy leaf. Yeah, that is a good green. I love getting the leaves wet. I yeah. love when those leaves are wet. Yeah, yeah, and uh, green. Mm. I've never seen anything get wet, so I wouldn't know. No, no. yeah, you are straight. <laughs> yeah, just... and you stink, bitch. <laughs> 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 I've never showered in my life. <laughs> Wait, Julia, are you on the dating apps? And if so, do you like them? I I have been You're on cuffed? the dating apps before. I'm in a relationship. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, I when I was on the dating apps, no, I did I didn't like them, and like they're they are kind of they're so discouraging too, mm. and it's like hard to make a date. It's hard to get a date. Yeah, I found it. I thought it'd be easy. I thought it'd be like DoorDash. Like you go on and you're just like, OK, I'm no, that's not how it that's is. That's what it's like for gay guys. Grinders, oh, yeah. like, grinders, grinders like, like seamless. Yeah, that sounds chill. Like, but Hinge is like sucks. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. brutalizing. Did yeah. you when you were on was like Hinge your your preferred of the dating apps or was it just like the only? Um, what, did you, what, what was your poison? Yeah, I think I did Hinge because it seemed like everyone else was doing Hinge. But I literally, I think I went on. Oh, and I, I was on Tinder for like a month. Mm. I But I was never on both at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I went on three dates, four dates total. Do you have a worst four date people. story? Um, Surely. Surely I do. Um, I went on a date with a couple, like with a straight couple once. Okay. Um, and it literally just turned into like listening to a straight couple be like, "Babe, remember this?" <laughs> <laughs> and the the but they bought me like six tecates, so I was just like, <laughs> "That rocks." <laughs> it felt like hanging out with your most boring couple friend. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If that's, like, ever... Okay, it's a bad date, but an awesome story to have just in the bank. 
You yeah. know, that's just that's I I would love to have that to just reflect on later in life. I gotta yeah, start going yeah. on dates with couples for the. You free should. Drinks. It yeah. was should it was it. a dream come true. It's like all I ever wanted. I was so excited, and then I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah. One time I hung out with my two. Fr- well, I hung out with one of my good friends from college who I hadn't seen in a while, and I was like in love with her in college, mm-hmm. and. We got breakfast together and we acknowledged that we definitely had some tension in college that we never acknowledged. We were like, haha, isn't that funny? But she was like partnered. She had a partner. And then that night I met up with her and her partner. And like, there's something about gay people where <laughs> we just have no boundaries. Like they were just telling me about what they talk about in couples therapy. I was like, I, I don't want to hear this. There was one point where, like, you could tell they were at the point of couplehood where you, like, this is not always true. There was just a Twitter thread about this that was fucked up. But, like, sometimes in couplehood you start, like, resenting each other if you've been together a really long time. Yeah, okay. Um, And uh, they were at that point and, like, the girl who was my friend in college went to the bathroom and asked her partner to hold her purse. And her partner was like, why does she always make me hold her purse? And I wanted to be like, in college I would have held her poop. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Did you say anything in the moment? I was like, ha ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it live on a podcast, but IRL, I was like, <laughs> got there. Uh. <laughs> oh my god! I w- I almost went. I I matched with what I thought was just a woman, but I realized was a couple mm. later on. I think I've I think I probably mentioned this on the podcast. Before. I actually don't know that you have. Maybe you oh. mentioned it to me interpersonally. And maybe maybe, but what happened was like I thought it was like I didn't like go through her profile. I just saw the first picture and I swiped right. It was on uh, it was on Bumble, and uh, then when I matched with her, I then went through her pro- and I saw this one guy in like all the rest of the pictures, and so I said, uh, "Hey, who's this guy?" And she <laughs> said, "Oh, it's my boyfriend." And I said, oh, okay. Um, I, I thought that she and her boyfriend were both looking for a guy to either date or have a threesome with, like, to be active with both of them. And I said, I'm very sorry, but I'm straight. And I, I'm assuming that you both want so, uh, someone who's active with both of you. And she was like, oh, no, he's straight, too. He's just doing this for me. And I was like, what? And then... Uh, and okay, then that, she, okay, that rocks. Yeah. And then at, at one point, I forget when in the conversation, but she said that she was looking for... Yeah, in the beginning of the conversation, she said that she was looking for a third. And I thought it was it literally was just for a threesome. But when we got to that point, I, I was looking at the photos, and there was something in his eyes that just made me think he's ignoring a lot of his instincts because he's trying to please her. Oh, and that's he's, really sad. And so, I, and so I did message her. I said... I don't think he's into this and I think you should talk to him. And she just said, okay. And then we unmatched. And then months down the line, I saw her on Bumble again. She was not with him. Damn. Yeah. How does it feel to be a homewrecker? Yeah. I mean, damn, you fucked up that relationship before you even got to meet them. (laughs) (laughs) I like to think that I, I helped a brother in arms. Yeah, actually for real that, um, that is tough. And that's, yeah, cool that you were able to see the pain in his eyes yeah through the I'm app bumble yeah <laughs> that's what happens when you make a women prioritizing app yeah <laughs> that's right men get their only for the fellas crushed. <laughs> i also i love like how did you see pain in his eyes was it like every you photo could tell he was crying. you could tell <laughs> funny every it was it like couples costumes i'm okay i'm gonna be real uh it's uh, this she was a lot hotter than him, and I could see in his eyes that he didn't oh. think he could do better. And oh. I had a feeling he was a really <laughs> sweet person, but just, like, didn't have a lot of dating ex- I was making a lot of inferences. There's a lot yeah. of projection. Yeah. No, there was to- oh, tons of projection. I also tons. feel like it's so on him to communicate that. Like, she was just, like, she's just, like, it sounds like she was communicating what she wanted. And yeah. Like, Going out on a limb to do so, but at I'm this, on yeah. I'm on her I'm on her team. And it may their breaking up may have had nothing to do with me, but they did eventually break up, and True. so it was the only time I've ever done anything like that. Also, well, yeah. I, I'm sure but, yeah. it had nothing to do with you, but I'm sure it had something oh. to do with the situation. I'm sure it wasn't just like yeah, we had different 
jobs <laughs> you know like, <laughs> she was literally on an app trying to hook up with other men like, yeah i'm an accountant like, my boyfriend's a cuck uh, <laughs> a, cu- a professional cook yeah they definitely have that they definitely have sex workers who like their whole thing is they pretend to be cucked oh yeah i oh when i was in college i found out that there were there was a line of sex work where there are People that their fetish is to call you on the phone, you pick up, but then you just leave your phone and you ignore them. And then they just like, they talk to you, but then they don't get a response and then they pay you just to ignore them. I was like, I would do this. That's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Anyone would do that. That sounds incredible. How wonderful is that? Yeah. Do they want to hire me? I, uh, to be honest though, I probably wouldn't be able to ignore them. Yeah. I feel like when they're like, hello, I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Hey, buddy. We have no, you game. okay? You okay? How, they'd s- work. They would get my attention any possible way. They'd be like, so the Yankees. I'd be like, I know. They suck. You're like, I can't resist a good Yankee talk. Yeah, yeah. I can't resist. <laughs> Happens to the best of I'd us. I'd go into customer service mode. I'm like, can I get you anything? <laughs> How can I help you? Do you feel like you're very different at your job than you are interpersonally? Ooh. Um, I don't think so. I think that some days I uh, expel a lot of my sweetness at work. And so then I'm a little more like just there yeah. later when I'm around people. But um, I don't know. I think I'm pretty much the same. I honestly like love uh, customer service. But yeah. it is. it really depends on where you are. Because like I'm in a neighborhood now where people are really nice. And mm. that like you feed off of what you get like when i worked um in a more touristy area and people just treated me like a coffee robot and like didn't tip me and i knew i wasn't going to get a tip before the interaction even started like i was a lot more like what what's it going to be like cappuccino Mm. okay and today it's like hi how are you are you having a good morning so far cappuccino okay cool that's very nice what you said about your sweetness like I find it interesting, like, how people say that they have, like, a social battery. I definitely have, like, a social battery that if it's depleted, I don't want to. Do you have that? Do you also have, like, a sweetness battery? If you, like, you, if you're, like, extra kind to people at one point in the day that you feel like you don't have the energy to do that? They're probably, yeah, they're probably intertwined, actually. Mm. Like, um... Yeah, I don't think I like run out of sweetness and then just start being like an asshole to like be, like I'm at the open mic at night like <laughs> like just that joke <laughs> sucks. Yeah, there's no punchline, yeah. you piece of shit. But I might be like quieter or something. Yeah, I was telling Gabby in the car on the way here that oh my god, today, I feel so left out. This I know is crazy. we had a fun little Uber until we I had got a fun chat. Okay, awesome. we get it. Uh, uh. <laughs> we fell in love. Yeah, we kissed. We kissed. Oh my god! I didn't realize that this was your partner. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It's it's kind of like this one sided situation where like she's in a relationship but I'm single. Yeah, <laughs> and and uh, and, Yo, and you're we're such a baller, on Bumble dude, yeah. and, and we're, we're on matching Bumble. with you. <laughs> yeah, we matched with Lucas, and we're but on Lucas Bumble. saw a lot of sadness like um in in me. In yeah, your yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like getting really lost. Yeah, I was like, okay, too, wait, like, wait who the, the friend? <laughs> who have we cast in which role? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but today at work, this guy came in and he goes, yeah. he goes what are you, a barista? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, like a real one? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yeah, I mean, I work here. And then he goes, huh, kind of a bullshit gig, right? <laughs> and then oh what did God. he do? What did he do? What happened? Oh, he said he was a landlord. Yeah, 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 yeah. buddy. Yeah. Oh damn! I That's get... a real job. Yeah, That's I love a real this guy. Job. Um, I know. No, I kind of <laughs> loved that he said that to me because, like, yeah, it is kind of a bullshit gig. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I'm not back here like knowing what I'm doing, <laughs> <laughs> doing quantum physics. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, neither is he. He's just evicting people. That's his job. Yeah. He he was he was actually he was telling me about how um he hasn't raised the rent on this one tenant he has with a terminally ill mother in 20 years and she pays $1700 for a three bedroom. Wow. And I was like, I can tell you're a really She's good single? guy because you're telling me all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, "Oh my god, should we should we throw a party?" The way that oh you're like god. parading this around at your barista, I can tell you're a really good guy. Should we invite Karl Marx? This yeah. is so funny. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. It was like the funniest interaction of my day and probably the rudest thing anyone has said to me today and that's you like really invited, good yeah you should have invited him to your dog's birthday even though that you don't have one. i know that would have been good you i threw a party for my dog <laughs> i no threw a party for came. my dog no one came uh, 
That's yeah. brutal. And she probably put a lot of effort into it. Like, I know. She yeah. showed me pictures, too. But she the, showed us pictures of, like, her dog, like, in a hat. She's like, yeah, no one was there. I was like, fuck. <laughs> it's just, like, it's a really zoomed out photo of the dog in the corner of the room. <laughs> it's, a, like, that meme. I don't know what meme I'm talking about. It probably exists. Oh, the, the, one, the one where it's, like, they don't know that I'm blank. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I maybe that, that one. one. I like that one. They don't know that I'm a dog that, <laughs> with a... <laughs> I don't know that I'm a dog and it's they, my birthday. I don't know that I'm a dog and it's my birthday and my owner works at Hooters. <laughs> I don't know my owner works at Hooters. Yeah, I do. That's why I didn't come. <laughs> Nobody funny. knows that I'm a dog. I love that as the starting point. <laughs> no one knows I'm a dog. Oh. Wait, super randomly, I just, mm-hmm. I don't know where in this conversation I thought of this memory, but um, I was telling this to someone, he was like, you got to talk about this. But when I What's was, coming up for you? When I was four... I wrote a letter to Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King. Okay, okay, <laughs> like okay. Like they're Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah, I wrote them a letter. And it said, Dear Timon and Pumbaa, I know that you are gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, you... I, <laughs> and you go can't on, get on. married because you're both boys. But it's okay, I still love you. Which I feel like it didn't need the last part. <laughs> Oh, you know, that probably is why it came up because the landlord was like, I haven't evicted this woman. And it was it was his way of being like, I still love you. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I know that this woman and her terminally ill mom are gay, <laughs> <laughs> but they can't get married because they're both girls. It's so awful. Nothing like to do with how they're related. It's like a real situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm like, blah, 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 terminally ill mom. Like with like a life bullshit. and like afflictions. Wait, wait. Um, wait, this is a weird question, but when did you learn the term and the meaning gay? I don't know. I don't know how it came up. Same for you. Do you remember? Um. Yeah, my sister used to call me gay all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. For what? Doing gay shit? Yeah, doing gay shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, I she'd be like, like, walk in the room, and be like, this show is for babies, and I'd be like, I just think the girl's pretty, and she'd be like, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> She was right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she knew. Yeah, she... Okay, Did damn, she become psych. gay? Hit the nail on the head. No, she died. <laughs> I keep pulling the air out of your podcast. You know what's funny is that I knew that, but I did. I was like, I'm not You were waiting this. on the big reveal. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, she's not gay. She's worse. <laughs> <laughs> LGBTQD. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're dead. It's, yes. uh, I'm sorry. Yes. That, I'm sorry. That, well, uh, she died and I got to be gay. <laughs> No one called you gay anymore. You were like, I can find. No, they away. did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do you feel I like she's still calling you gay from the beyond? Probably. Oh. Probably. That rocks. That's yeah. beautiful Good for her. Yeah, she's probably looking down like, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, do you still have a crush on Mosley from Ned's Declassified? Uh, oh, uh, was that like a big childhood crush for you? Huge crush on Mosley. Yeah. yeah. I liked her too. That yeah. Lindsay Shaw character. Yeah. She's this gay. May, this may sound She great. is. She is? I think not Mosley, but Lindsay Shaw is gay, I think. Oh, or, she was. Th- I might be spreading. She played a gay character. She on played Pretty the Little gay character. Oh, were you a PLL fan? Uh, the, of the gay one. Yeah, I loved Pretty Little Liars. Yeah. I was a huge Pretty Little Liars stan. I watched the first few seasons. They were in. Inc- I mean, mm-hmm. there. It's, it's a terrible show. It's like poorly done, poorly. Like, budget is bad. But there's something about it. I don't know if it's that the girls are so hot or if it's like the yeah. story. This is what you say about every gay show. So You're hot. like, it's not good, but there's something about it. There's <laughs> something about yeah, it. It's like that, the like, L word. It's like, yeah. it's always, it's never. Okay, but the L word, they're I've never they're heard a show purely defended. Hot. Yeah. Yeah, but like the L word, the L word I like because action that should be packed into multiple seasons is in like three episodes. They move on from stuff really fast, but Too then they'll fast. also like really hang on to other things for yeah. a while. Mm-hmm. You yeah. watched it, yeah? Yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. Thing? yeah. Um I just finished um Queer Ultimatum. <gasps> oh, that was a good show. Oh, I love that. Oh shit. Yeah. What did you that think? That was good drama. I uh, just gobbled it up. Watched it yeah. in like 2 days. Mm-hmm. Um and I uh I don't think gay love is uh real. <laughs> I think <laughs> I agree. No, I just think that um I had a good run. Yeah. Yeah, I had a good run. Uh, it's, I, well, it was like my first real investment in reality television. Like I, I don't watch a lot of reality television and I'm not saying that to brag. Yeah. 
but okay, so I feel like I've us? missed yeah. out because like I I don't know I'd never for some reason thought about it as like it's it's like humans case study like it's, yes it's a study it's that's not exactly right yeah it's not like people are getting like so invested in the drama it's like you can put yourself in like well what would i do in that situation or like i can kind of empathize with um the way that uh this person is acting even though I, from a uh objective perspective i can see that it's unsavory it's just like oh i've been there like i can practice empathy right now or like um or like, I fucking hate that bitch. He reminds me of that bitch I knew. <laughs> like, <laughs> like reality TV is fun. It's yeah. so fun. And when it's about queer people, yeah. Also, the mm. premise of the ultimatum works so well for queer people. For those who exactly. don't know, the premise of the ultimatum is that you, like, come in with your partner and one person's issued an ultimatum to the other. We either get married or we break up. And then they just start dating, like, another person in a couple who like comes into the experiment and they treat it like a very serious relationship. Yeah. Well, everyone first, why am I looking over? <laughs> <laughs> well, the first, other camera. Yeah. everyone dates each other. Like mm. you date for around. three weeks. It's a three week marriage, a trial marriage. Well, for a few days, they, everyone oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm jumping they ahead. No, you, keep they're going, all keep going. exes you, at some point. You yeah. Get, yeah. You get to kind of like, you choose your person. And so I don't even understand how that would work for straight people on that show. It's, I mean, it's, I've seen the first season where it's just straight people as well. And that was a tougher watch. It's just because yeah. it, only lesbians would fall in love in three weeks. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess some straight people do, but like the, the, the way that that show, the pace of that show just lends itself to queer people. Yeah. Mm. It was great. I really hope that it opens the door for more, uh, like toxic. Yeah. yeah. More toxic queer representation yes um i've always thought like why the fuck aren't we doing a lesbian bachelor yes Ooh. i agree with that that yeah we that did awesome. there was a uh bisexual are you the, the butcher the butcher that's good that's pretty good okay. <laughs> <laughs> it took a second <laughs> you, you let it run yeah, i yeah, do yeah. want to see the way in the bachelor like the girls are just like claws out like 2000 style internalized misogyny i want to see that but like they're all fighting over some like absolute dyke that would be so <laughs> that awesome. would be so fun that would be really cool i think you guys got to make it happen I think <laughs> I, I i'm the one who's supposed to end up with stars mm. stars <laughs> that's her name stars that's her they name <laughs> her Wait, they name <laughs> did you did you see the reunion of the uh, ultimatum yeah it was like genuinely so upsetting yeah it's rough it's not fun like it's not like oh it's just like wow a lot of people have been hurt in this process yeah i also yeah. wasn't expecting to like tiff as much as at the end I, like i really disliked them throughout the show but at the end i was like okay you've actually been through a lot this is all this is a lot to deal with as a person i was a tiff apologist the whole time i said this to someone i said i really like tiff when i was like balls deep in the show i hadn't mm. finished it yet and they were like well of course you would like tiff what does I that said, mean I said, what do you mean they said you and tiff have a lot of similarities i said I, I and like i was like well i just said i like them so i guess i guess that, what did they say your similarities were that we have a similar kind of they said I, something like to the uh, to the um effect of like similar like dude energy oh yeah oh, okay, yeah okay yeah i do yeah. see that a little bit um which i don't know how to feel but i like tiff i thought tiff was really funny i always liked cool. tiff uh a little too intense i didn't like the way that they yeah. talked to sam all the time yeah the dog thing was pretty crazy dog was thing sam? was pretty crazy sam was the nice asian lady oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay that was in the relationship with Aussie. Aussie. Yeah. And they're still together and they're getting married. Every wow. time Aussie would come on screen, I would be like, wow, this is so mossy. Oh, you, got, you, got, you got ice in your cooter. Yeah. <laughs> I've been putting ice on my neck for a little bit. I don't really know why. It's just kind of soothing me right now. Yeah, I hear it's good. What, where'd you hear that? Like from like movies about the South. <laughs> <laughs> People sitting Song on porches. Song of the South. Like, putting, Birth like, of a Nation. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulling like ice out of lemonade, put it on their neck. They're like, oh, yeah. It's one, one of the hottest summers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that growing up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In North Carolina, just yeah. walking around like, it's a hot one. <laughs> <laughs> I literally did do that. Oh, yeah. gee. It's hotter than oh, a. Mama. Did, did they ever do the long thing, like what Sandy Cheeks would do? Like, she'd be like, it's hotter than Tuesday. And 
It's hotter than. <laughs> it's hotter than the solstice in hell. Like, or yeah, I don't know, something. something. Like that. Yeah. No, not, not anyone I knew, really. I mean, maybe. She had some longer riffs. Oh, yeah. She had, see, she had some good analogies. She had some good ones. Those Southerners be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like growing up in the South? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Seems cool. I, I liked it down North there. North Carolina. For what little time yeah. I was there this summer, I loved it. North Carolina is beautiful. Gorgeous. And, like, there's, like, good food and mountains and the ocean and swamplands and um, people in the south are so nice. Yeah. The fucking rules. Yeah. And, like, kind of, I don't know, I think there there's, like, this idea of, like, in the north people are so direct and up front and i don't think so really i think in the south people are kind of more we talk about that more what kind of directness are we talking about um like i don't know edit that part out that's okay edit that out <laughs> edit that okay. out Not i didn't jamie, have a point. uh cut that out jamie? uh jamie. i didn't have a point once again <laughs> i th- yeah. uh, no i think you did like i think there is a certain like northern bias yeah, you know, like that whole war. No, kidding. That was terrible. That whole war. Edit that. Edit yeah, we that we don't have to bring that up. I think we're all on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the war of northern aggression. I mean, it should be called northern passive aggression because not very direct. Yeah. Yeah, Uly- Ulysses S. Grant. The S stands for sad. Uh. God is as Ulysses S. Grant roasted. <laughs> Lucas is doing a roast battle against Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> that would be so funny if you showed up to your roast tonight and just had five jokes against Ulysses S. Grant. And I said to Claire C. McCaskey, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> Ulysses S. That Grant is so gay. Me. How gay is he? She's sitting there like, what? <laughs> She's that- like, I worked really hard on my jokes. <laughs> that actually would rock. <laughs> but I think oh, I I do think there is some perception that we in the north, you know, have it all figured out and it's just like it's it's I think there, there is not that perception. <laughs> ah, <laughs> damn. Okay. No, you you're right. Fuck up continuity if I took my sweatshirt off. No. Yes, but go ahead. Is it going to ruin No, it's not. It's not at all. Is you can do whatever the fuck you need to. Damn, we got vest life. We got whoa, vest whoa, life. Whoa. Oh whoa. my god, it's Julia Desmond. Wait, I think I literally had a nipple slip. That's fine. Leave That's in. fine. Leave yeah, it yeah. In. That's fine. Okay, I'm Gabby. not mad. Gabby, you were saying. Yeah, well, well you know. Yeah, we're all getting Hooter shirts. Yeah. We were yeah. showing nips in the Uber. Hell yeah. It. yeah. The acoustic Hooter shirt. So many. So <laughs> 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 the classic Hooter shirt is to just have your tits out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can you make me a shirt like that? Yeah. yeah just boo. Uh, I think so like I, I don't know I feel like in in the north people want to defend themselves be like they're all so backwards back then but like the more people I meet from the south it's like we're all fucked up because we think we have it figured out but no one has it figured out mm. if that yeah, makes no sense. one no one has any like I don't know what it would mean to have it yeah. figured out you know I have I have a question so when you go home to North Carolina like friends and family aside and like maybe like favorite restaurants or whatever favorite spots what is the thing you look most forward to when you go home um i used to go for this run at a place called greenfield lake uh the, it's like a a big loop and um there are alligators in the lake and there's this bridge that uh there are almost always these huge alligators under and i i, I used to run it like every day and i love running that and i got to do that a few times last time i was in north carolina but they actually just closed down the bridge no like two oh, days fuck. ago and gator lot- attacks what gator attacks um the bridge was just getting like just rickety i guess oh oh you're, you're okay. sorry sorry that's okay is this better you're this doing so great. much better um, i'm doing asmr now yeah it's why yeah. they close down the bridge I guess it was just like getting kind of 
haphazard. Oh, Whoa. shit. Yeah. Got to put it in notable words only. D yeah. Do it. Do it right no now. Notable words only is a passive aggressive group chat Lucas and I are in with a bunch of people we don't know. My my good friend from high school added me to it. Occasionally, I'll just add people. Let me know if you want to be in it. It's fine. But it's a group chat wherein you're only allowed to post notable words and you can either thumbs up or thumbs down the word I sometimes the people word do other raid. reacts but it's it's not um <laughs> so it's like a vocabulary chat like yeah yeah but sometimes people put in like weird ones like lucas put toasts it it, it honestly toasts? got a lot toast <laughs> toast sorry i don't know why i added the sorry plural. i would i would never pluralize that <laughs> pluralizing <laughs> toast toasts. is funny as well. toasts it got a lot of thumbs down like, actually yeah. i'm gonna make some toasts if you'd like yeah. one <laughs> the effort that you have to put into saying that toasts i like all kinds oh, of toasts but can i say there was one i got thumbs down where i was actually mad because i was genuinely trying i put in the word kak which is a kind of sudanese or like an arab cookie that it, it's delicious can you spell it k-a-a-k -A -A -K. i think that's oh. why they didn't like it yeah is so they're like foreign shit <laughs> yeah. no just because it sounds like cock yeah but which okay. is not okay and you said that yeah <laughs> She's not a friend to the Arab nation. That's uh, not what I meant. I'm just saying if you're not cult if you're not cultured and mm -hmm. if you don't know, like for example, I put in the word fagil, mm. but it it looks a little bit like a slur. Wait, what's that? Isn't it, wait, isn't that the Yiddish word for gay? Um, oh, it probably is. Well, I found out about it because... <laughs> it's because I've heard it in, like, old, like, Mel Brooks films and shit. Like, yeah. that word that I'm not going to say. It's because my sister made this dance piece. She's, like, a dance teacher and a choreographer. Oh, that's very she cool. She made a dance piece called Fagel Romp in a Field of Wheat. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was about, like, be it was about gay Jews. So I was like, that's a notable word. And then so many people disliked it because they thought it was, like, a slur. Oh. They thought you were trying to be funny. Yeah, which I never am. No. That's so funny that, like, it's a group chat where the comedians are, like, not, they, they, they do not want to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, this isn't funny. Stop trying to make this fun. You're, like, genuinely trying to participate in something. They're, they're like, everything you say is invalid. <laughs> They're like, this isn't Rift City. Okay. Because <laughs> of this weird seriously? little hobby you have. Yeah. We actually hate everything you say. Um, Comedians are an oppressed group. I, think. I would love to be in that group chat. Actually. Oh, y y it's you. fun. I'll it's good. In. It's a good time. A yeah. Yeah. Because then you also see words that you've never seen before. Yeah. I can't. Nothing's coming to mind, but they're good. Notable. 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 That's a good word. Yeah. Well, let me put, let me pull send that into the chat right now. You'll yeah, get kicked yeah, yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already impressed enough as it is. Mm. Let's see what the last notable word was. Oh. Um. It was We're really scraping the bottom of the barrel right now. Yeah, let me check my group chat on the podcast. S Samovar. Yeah. Samovar, okay. I don't even know what that means. I think I it's a sword. Either. It sounds like it. Oh right. no, I was thinking of scimitar. I was I was Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I was Isn't I was that the half horse guy? Just kidding, that's a centaur. I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the smartest woman in the world. Yeah. Booker I everywhere. read all kinds of shit about centaurs. Yeah, she yeah. read Harry Potter. You wouldn't they didn't believe have that disciple. the things I read about centaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't I don't read about centaurs. I just hook up with them. Yeah, I just yeah. I just draw uh, to accompany fanfics. Yeah, yeah, I just do little illustrations. Yeah, <laughs> did you ever write fan fiction? You seem like the type. No, it, I, in a positive way, not pejorative. Like, what kind of fan fiction do I seem like? I would like like my comical romance type fan fiction, or even like Lord I of think, the Rings. Okay, um, no, I never did. Ah, damn it. Um. But I was about to fist bump you so hard. I guess like yes. technically I've kind of written fan fiction. Ooh. How what? wait, how so? Like horny fan fiction. Okay, yeah. About Gerard Way, yeah. <laughs> about what? Who? From my chemical romance, Gerard Way. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> did you wait, did you ever put it on like a blog or a message board? Or, no. or was it just for you? It was just for me. Okay. I just wanted to be able to read it. Yeah. <laughs> what was uh, what was the premise? Hell yeah, brother. Uh something horny, like uh We fucked. I don't think I even like really knew what I was talking about at all. But <laughs> how old were you when you wrote it? Probably like sixth or seventh grade. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it was like a kissing fanfic. Yeah, it was like after the concert. <laughs> Ooh. After the concert, I, uh, I uh, freaking. Um, 
<laughs> took his shirt off. Yeah. Yeah. And then I took Man's my shirt right off. Now. And then I was like, oh, I have got to take plan B. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get pregnant. If you have your shirt off at the same time. Yeah. You get you're, pregnant. You're pregnant. <laughs> you get pregnant. Really. Yeah. Really pregnant. That's how my parents had me. Yeah. Yeah. And couldn't you tell? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I knew it all along. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that looked like a topless pregnancy right there. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's like a slur, like a new slur. Oh, that's a topless pregnancy, kid. You got to watch out for it. Oh, God. That no, I am now thinking of my bit about me t- about my dad telling me how I was conceived, like what the events that led to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you wait, have you guys ever heard that? Bit? The one about how you're inbred, right? No, no that's another one. <laughs> Oh, Don't wait, worry, Luke, it's fun. Lucas it's is, fun. Lucas is inbred. Do you yeah. know about this? It was my dad's grandparents who were cousins. Oh, is that why you uh, got a two on your reading SAT? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. Get his ass yeah. roasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Ulysses but- S. Grant, now you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so keep. No, yeah, it was, uh, it was my parents. They were in they were looking at different farm properties because they wanted to start a family farm together for it later fizzled out. But there's one time they were in, they were going through lots of like places in the, in like the West and they were in Montana and Wyoming. And there were a few times that my mom was really afraid for her life. Cause she got a lot of dirty looks from locals, uh, especially with her being with a white dude. And so like in those moments where she was afraid to leave their hotel, a lot of times, like she was like shaking, like I don't want to leave the door. And uh, my dad would be like, no, please, I got you. You're safe. I promise I'm going to keep you safe. You're not in any danger. And in the heat of the moment of just pure anxiety that they would bang. Why did he tell you that? I, we were in the car and he just brought it up out of nowhere. Did you ever find out how you were conceived? No, but <laughs> I imagine they took their shirts off probably. <laughs> Be funny if they did, let, like kept their shirts on. They were like, no, 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 no. Just genitalia out. Everything else, <laughs> pure business. <laughs> Something about genitalia while I'm like thinking, never mind. But it's a terrible word. The, it's a bad word. Yeah. Mm. Um. No, I don't know how, like. Your parents got they genitals? They were trying. Yeah, I'm, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they were trying to have a baby. Mm. So they probably don't really know. Yeah, a yeah. good story around it. Just like I hope this one goes through. I hope they kept their socks on. Um, I hope so too. Another conversation from yeah. the car. You missed. I a hope lot. this one you gets green lit by NBC. <laughs> <laughs> you missed. You you missed a lot. We were talking about socks on during sex. The socks Ooh. stay on. Do, mm-hmm. do you guys keep socks on during? Oh sex? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm about it. But people think I'm a freak. No, what? you're just sensible. It's actually it's better for you to reach orgasm if your feet are warm. So you're actually it's very I've heard sensible. That. I know. Yeah. I never do it because I don't need help, baby. <laughs> You're like, I bust quick no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Got my ass. <laughs> only only way for Lucas to come is when he sees a sock. <laughs> He's like, that's my friend. Yeah, I like keeping the socks on just because socks are so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, when I first heard about like people masturbating, I heard it from the concept of like in movies, people talk about like coming into a sock. And I was like, but what if you need it for your feet? That I, I never did that. I never came into a sock. I was like, this is my sock. I use this for my feet. Yeah. <laughs> what you if know? I was like, I've come into my sock. <laughs> I would probably just come into the toilet. <laughs> Easy cleanup. Yeah. Yeah. People talk about that. People talk about um <laughs> people talk about coming into the trash. Stuff like that. That's heinous. <laughs> Toilets way people, chiller. People co- I this is something I'm glad I don't sleep with that many men. It does seem like a lot of cleanup. Mm. Mm. I'm yeah. sure maybe maybe it's worth it. <laughs> God, I'm so fake by. <laughs> well, maybe it's worth it, I guess. Yeah, maybe you'll get royalties down the line. <laughs> if I if I end up with like a like a husband. Oh, you said that so derogatory. It's just gonna be I think weird for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone would be uncomfortable. Wait, I thought of an awesome riff. Please Do it. go for it. When you said maybe I'll get royalties. 
<laughs> You'll definitely get residuals. Hey! Hey! That's why we pay her the big bucks on two nosy meerkats, baby. That was beautiful. Thank that, you. Thank God you didn't sit on that and actually advocate it for it because that was worth it. Thanks. I'm glad. If we could just edit it so that it looked like <laughs> I did that like like real smooth. Up top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First thing before you said. the Before the, the premise was even made. Residuals. <laughs> 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 you just come on the pod. Hey, residuals. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay. So, on a okay, percentage wise, how likely is it that you think you would actually get married to a man it's in like this life? Almost zero. Almost no, but give, give it a number. Well, give it okay. A number. Here's the thing. When I was like 22, I was in an improv class. And Bad start. <laughs> terrible start. Me and this and this man in the improv class, mm -hmm. we did like fall in love. It was like the one guy I've ever like been like, oh, him for sure. But at the time I was in a relationship with someone. So I like didn't pursue it. But then I thought about it and I was like, no, I should be a good girlfriend and like stay with my girlfriend. But okay. now I kind of regret it because he was really nice. And then now he's with someone and then I was with someone for years and blah, blah, blah. But it did happen. So it's like not zero, but it's so close to zero because I just I don't care about men's emotions. I don't care about your thoughts or your feelings. Like, yeah, that's why she beats me. <laughs> that is no, that's not why. No, I just like it. It's because I asked for it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. She, it's kind of like a mommy kink he has. Oh, oh it's, cool. It's very true. Yeah. yeah. That's. Cool. I've been and getting, I, I've been getting need, mommy zoned a lot. I need motherly violence. <laughs> <laughs> you do look like a small Victorian child that <laughs> needs to be abused. <laughs> Please, mommy, the paddle. Yeah. The Please, pad. mommy. The paddle. <laughs> I feel ever so bad. May I have some paddle? <laughs> <laughs> Allow me my grain of rice for the day after you're done. Jesus, that's so <laughs> sad. <laughs> I don't like how easy it is to go into this character. I know. That felt like it came out of you, actually. Yeah, this yeah. was. This is easy to riff on. Too easy. Mm -hmm. I feel so like you got on. possessed. Yeah. 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 I do I do get mommy zoned a lot actually. You do? Yeah. Like a, a girl I think is hot will be like, "Thanks mommy." I'm like, "Oh, do you like that?" No. Not particularly. So why do so do you say like, "Hey, I don't like this?" No. Oh, you just you They're just, beautiful. You take oh. it. Why would I do that? I'm their mother. <laughs> I would never set a boundary with them. <laughs> Have you ever been mommy zoned? No. 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 Look at her. You could. I, hey, love is what love. What does that mean? Oh, you're, right. a, you're, a, you're like a... Moms can look like anyone and everyone. You're, I the think... The hottest mom keeps coming into my cafe. Wait, really? Yeah. Single? I don't think so. Okay. What's the vibe of hot mom? Just like... So cool. Yeah. <laughs> She's just so fucking cool. She has the coolest tattoos. New baby. She she <laughs> she lost she lost <laughs> she lost her like baby book, her little baby's book. Uh-huh. And She's like, oh, she noticed while she was in front of me, like ordering. She's like, oh, I, like we lost your book. Oh, you don't have your book. And then she goes, fucking dumbass, you can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Oh, so she rocks. She's funny. She's really She's cool. She's so hot. She's so cool. I did just like the way, though, that you said, like, cool tattoos, cool baby. <laughs> like she like got them both in the same way. Well, she. Which one is less permanent? The answer will surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Um, I hope that baby's there. that baby's great. Anyway, hot cool moms, they're out there. Yeah. Do you do you have baby fever ever? Um, sometimes. Mm. You I, want kids in the future? I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Is there anything that would like trigger even like a little bit of baby fever? Like just seeing a really cute baby or just a good parent-child relationship, anything like that? Uh, yeah, like seeing this woman come into my cafe, I'm like, oh, like that doesn't look like a bad existence at all. Like, yeah, yeah. But um, then like when babies come in and scream, I'm like, Fuck, yeah, shit, I can't. Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, but like sometimes I'll like, yeah, a lot of times at work there will be like a like a like a super cute baby and like. Um, like th they always like stare at me and then I, I'll, I'll do a little bit, you know, like I'm not a monster. I'm not going to like, just be like, what? Like I'm, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm like, and then they're yeah. always like, they're always like, 
<laughs> They're yeah. trying to do peekaboo with you. You're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on the clock. <laughs> do you not understand? Gaga, gaga. I gotta make a cortado. Baby's, <laughs> baby's first word is hack. <laughs> <laughs> that would yeah. be so sick. Yeah. I was struck with baby fever a couple months ago because outside of pine, outside of pine box, there's always a toddler. Always baby. Always. Always. One. always baby outside. And there was this very very sweet little girl who like we were saying hi to it, and then she just like it. reached out. And it, <laughs> I said it. Hi to it. I'm a bad person. That's okay. Yeah. I don't know. Well, she didn't talk to me so i didn't it was I, I don't know for some reason i felt i was like oh her it just i don't know that she felt she didn't acknowledge me so she wasn't real yeah exactly mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i only acknowledge people that are in my life everyone yeah. else is it no but um this little girl she just like held my hand for a little bit and Catherine Lindsay got a picture of it uh not with her face in it so but uh, but it was like it was so sweet and i saw that i was just like oh my god it was just like it hit yeah. i was like this is yeah I had a dream recently that I had a baby Whoa. and um, I like felt a mother's love in this dream. But I also in the dream <laughs> kept just leaving the baby in different rooms. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd come back and be like, yeah, you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> baby was fine, though. Yeah. It just kept being like, <laughs> 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 yeah, we'd both just like be like. It was like a puppy, you know? Like, that's cool. Maybe I'm ready for a puppy. You, you, Ooh, you'd be maybe. good with a puppy. I would yeah. love a dog. Yeah, what do kind of dog? Kids? I want kids, for sure. I w but I I do think... It's kind of like what you said about how when they cry, you're like, ugh, that's annoying. Like, uh, I'll hang out with, like... Like, years ago, I hung out with, like, my baby cousin. And, like, the first hour, you're like, oh, my God, this is so cute. They're running around. They say the dumbest shit. And then they start crying so much and being so annoying. And you're out of energy. You're like, this isn't fun anymore. Yeah. I want to return it. Yeah. I, I don't know. A lot would have to happen for me to be like, yeah, I want a kid. Yeah. Mm. But I do I do want one eventually. Yeah. yeah. I do, too, eventually. Yeah. yeah. Down the line. Should we do it? Let's do it, baby. Well, this is our baby. This podcast so is our baby. You guys get married. You beat you beat the odds of Gabby zero yeah. percent marries a man, and you yeah. guys have a baby. We um. I am in a relationship as well, a new relationship. So my girlfriend would be mad. Oh my gosh. Nah, she'd That's be into okay. it. I'm kidding. I'm no. kidding. She'd be fine. She could join. Just put her on Bumble. <laughs> Put you next to her and all the photos. <laughs> oh, that's yes. hilarious. I'll yeah. see the sadness in her eyes. <laughs> be like, you should talk to her. You'll be like, And then nah. you guys just get together and, yeah, <laughs> yeah. afterwards. Oh, I would hook up with your girlfriend for sure. <laughs> 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 Did she listen? She might, yeah. What's up, bitch? I mean, friend. That's, I thought that's... you meant generally. Did she listen? <laughs> <laughs> just in conversation? I was like, that's a good question. Did she, yeah. did she listen to you? That's important. They got to listen. Oh, for her own sake, no. I would never allow her to listen to me. <laughs> to listen to your dribble? No, 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 no. If she's listening, hi. If you're listening, hi, hi. How yeah. you doing, babe? What's up? Yeah. That's how you talk to your girlfriend? Yeah. Go, hi, hi. What's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? I did have a funny interaction with her that now we you talk about on stage. Oh, yeah. I have. Yeah. Wait, do you want to tell it? Oh, yeah. So um, she... She was wearing these cute earrings. I was like, cool earrings. She was like, thanks. They're my way of telling people I'm bi. And I was like, well, you're dating Lucas, so everyone knows you're bi. <laughs> That's so funny. It was perfect. <laughs> That's charming as fuck. It was I very, she was, she was very sweet. But it's just like, of course. She really wanted, uh, I'm, I'm blowing up her spot a little bit, but she was like very nervous. She was like, I need Gabby to think I'm cool. It was, oh, it was I really she was, cute. Oh, she, which is crazy. She was way cooler than me. Oh, no. I am I keep telling her. I've brought her like a couple times to like, comedian functions and she's like i'm always i was like you are the coolest person here yeah. these are all the most anti-social bastards in the world yeah. you are you have no idea how hard you're killing right yeah, now. yeah it's so cool that you don't belong here like it's so <laughs> yeah cool that you're not someone that you but have a real job the next time we're in the same space make sure we get introduced i would love yes to oh no yeah That's i would so love cool. to introduce yeah, you yeah, yeah yeah but there are some other people we would like to introduce you to Okay. Sort of not quite as like, in, but we have a lot of listener submissions that we would love to get your opinion and maybe your advice on. Okay. Sometimes we get, sometimes we give advice. Sometimes we just fuck around. Okay, I like that. You pull up the listener submissions. I'm gonna see if anyone responded to our story. That was such a expertly done segue too. He's Thank he's you. good There's at that. Someone else I'd like to introduce you to. I thought <laughs> yeah. you were gonna bring someone out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Oprah. Come on <laughs> out, <here>. Barack. Uh, <laughs> Oh, um, someone wrote, <laughs> oh. how do you get doo-doo out of your ass? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's Joss Nasser. Hope the podcast is good. 
<laughs> piece of shit. I, 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 I love knowing that. How do you get doo-doo out of oh, your yeah. ass? <laughs> Just kidding, it's Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Josh. Shout um, out Josh I don't know Nasser. how to get doo-doo out of your ass. I've been struggling with that for really well, long Well, I have time. a bidet, so that helps a lot. Yeah, I was about to say, um, use nosy uh, use nosy <laughs> discount use nose. Nose. discount nosy on <laughs> Tushy. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and that's how you get doo doo out of your, your ass. ass. <laughs> and that's how you get the doo doo out of your ass. Boo-doo, this boo-doo, message boo-doo. was brought to you by Lance Bass. He's gay. Uh. <laughs> Josh is like, fuck, my new song got leaked. <laughs> <laughs> that oh. rocks. He rocks. Do you, uh, do you have any others you uh, want to read before oh, I go um, to these no, ones? No, Someone, <laughs> yeah, the, okay. The only other person who wrote into the story, because we have the story and then we have the actual submissions, the only person who wrote to the story just wrote, how fruity is Lucas? <laughs> well, the thing is, I do love fruit. I do love eating fruit. However, I I, I did take the Kinsey uh, scale test and I got a big fat zero. You're not gay at all? Isn't that crazy? I, I think it's crazy when anyone is like that. I know. I agree. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, cool. It's like it's that's cool. valid. That's okay. Respect yeah. It. yeah, yeah. That's like normal. Yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> to the point where it's weird. Yeah. Well, I've always thought about Lucas that if he was gay, he would just be gay by now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like, there's no, like there's nothing have, holding me back. I don't I don't feel like you're like shoving stuff down. <laughs> I think honestly, it'd make your life a lot easier. Like your social life would probably be easier if you were gay. Uh, yeah, a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. Well. Alas, here we are. Fuck. Yeah. Here we go. All right. I have uh, a screenshot here that you very kindly sent to me earlier. Uh, It's a bit of a long one. I will try to be speedy. Uh, Hey, meerkats. It's Thara, uh, the girl who called Lucas's head a bowling ball. And there's an incident that happened that I'd like you to comment on. First, some background info. Uh, There's a holiday a lot of Indians celebrate called Onam. And there's an association called Nima that organizes an event each year to celebrate. This includes a dance recital thing where people can choreograph dances and then perform on stage. It's really fun. We attend, and after getting ready, we go to the side stages to go on stage. Uh, There was also a pretty popular Indian actress doing an interview there, and we were so upset that we didn't get to take a picture with her. But anyway, we go on stage, and the song starts playing. A sound went off, and the lyrics never started playing. We were then told to wait in the side stages until it's fixed. It took a solid 15 minutes for them to fix it. After that got fixed, we were able to get through the whole dance without anything bad happening. After we get off stage and back into the green room, I start looking for my shoes so we can leave and can't find them. They were pretty generic white shoes that were very worn in. I thought that someone had moved them because another performance was happening after hours and uh, and they probably needed more space. I searched the entire room before someone mentions that someone had taken a pair of shoes for their own performance. I'm so tired at that point. I just want to go home and I start crying. Uh, my mom noticed and she... <clears throat> My mom noticed and she told me to stop crying because it wasn't a big deal. However, all of the other moms were very supportive of me and said that. <laughs> Wait, s- I know this is like leading at a larger point, but what a subtle dig at your mom. Yeah. <laughs> my mom told me to shut all the fuck up, but all the, the other, other moms, moms are cool. Were nice. yeah. Which one of them were my fucking mom? <laughs> uh, all the other moms were very supportive of me. And said that they shouldn't have taken my shoes. I wait in the green room for another 15 minutes because the person who took my shoes was apparently the president of another organization (gasps) in Nima. When she gets back, she tries to just put the shoes back and leave. And I go up to her and tell her that she took my shoes. She does her half-hearted apology and did it all in one sentence just so she could leave. Uh, Just so she... Sorry, just so that she could leave. I ask uh, where she put my socks because I kept them in my... because I kept them in my shoes and she tells me that she kept them in another random person's bag and gives them back to me. Keep in mind, she took my shoes and was barefoot in them. And then she just leaves. Am I being overdramatic for being upset or is it justified? I think that's justified as fuck. Wait, so she was trying to leave, but she couldn't because someone had taken her shoes without asking. Yeah. 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 Anytime that you're like, stuck in a place because someone is bar like because of something out of your control is so frustrating even if you've given permission like have you ever had a situation where like it's like oh like yeah you can borrow 
my phone charger and then it's like you can't get a hold of someone and you like really want to leave and you but but you can't get a hold of them to get your thing back yeah imagine if those were your fucking shoes when it was someone you didn't even give permission also that's gross like yeah yeah barefoot in the shoes that is that's what gets me hey show this to your mom uh (laughs) (laughs) i've got no stakes in this i don't know you i'd go as far as to say i don't care about you but I think you're completely right to be upset in this situation. I would be upset, too. Yeah. You're valid. I also think it's crazy that it was, like, the president of one of the organizations, so essentially a micro-celebrity. So what she was doing was being like, oh, well, it's my word against yours. And who's everyone yeah. going to believe? A random person who wrote into this podcast? Or the president of whatever the NEMA. organization? NEMA. And the president of NEMA. And it's like... You don't get to just take people's shoes because you're the president. Yeah. I wonder how many times this person may have done that before and it never be an issue. A shoe thief? I wonder if this is, or is this the first time? Either way is crazy. It's like when my my sister, uh, when she was at summer camp, she encountered a kleptomaniac who would steal her underwear. This girl, Kayla. That's fucked. Yeah. Kayla. And uh, when she confronted her about it, because there was a lot of evidence she did it, Kayla cried and went, I know who I am and I'm not a thief. Oh. But she was. Damn. Yeah. So That's I think up. just because you're the president, you're going to steal stuff. I think you're right to be mad. I think your mom's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think all other moms are cool and hot. Yeah. That's yeah. the verdict. Yeah. Your mom's also ugly. Um, <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> can I, very quickly, can I say, like, when I was in elementary school, I had this, like, s- some sort of music recital and I was playing trumpet for it. And like we were all when we weren't on stage, we we're all waiting in the gym and I had my trumpet in a case. And this girl was like sitting on a bench, but she had her feet up on mm-hmm. my trumpet case as if it was an ottoman. And I didn't like that. Yeah. And because weird. it was mine, I just like I didn't even say anything. I just took it. And she was like, what the f- what are you doing? Put it back. I was like, no. She was like, I want to rest. I was like, this isn't yours. Yeah. It was weird as fuck. That's weird. Yeah. She's dead. I hope. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh what's the thing on rupaul's drag rates oh candy muses goes bitch she died <laughs> she was like doing a roast of rupaul oh. and it was like a, someone told her to act her age and bitch she died <laughs> <laughs> that was a good roast oh that's my so god funny. that's funny all right we got that's one more amazing. listener submission this one's a little more lighthearted and fun yeah. okay i've been flirting with this guy for the past year and i mm. feel that things might work out the issue is he lives in another country i want to get to know him better but because he's in the U.S. and I'm in Canada, it makes it hard, and it doesn't help that he is in uni, university, mm, I think. Yeah. He's a lovely, very sweet guy. What's your advice on how to get things to be more than acquaintances? First, got to FaceTime. Wait, were you done? Well, yes, but I also have a feeling this sister might be in high school, and it's like a college guy, like a hot college guy. Oh, okay. Oh, dating a high I school. I don't know anyone that's. I don't like this. Anyone that's. If you're in high school and you're dating someone that has graduated from high school. Is that always true? Like, what if it's like a high school senior okay, that you. And a college freshman. I think if you meet them and you are in high school and they have graduated i think i I think it's weird like a college freshman that's not gonna work out anyway even if you Mm. both were college freshmen and you're going to different college like that's not gonna work out yeah yeah um it's really tough you're in such formative points of your life yeah yeah i have tried i I remember at that time i tried to do that with distance and it it didn't work out Yeah, yeah i think um i don't know i mean general advice for how to like keep something from being just acquaintances would be to be direct about it as you get older people will appreciate that more um you said you want you and fit to facetime it, yeah but first off if you're if you're talking to someone online or whatever you have to facetime them because catfish i think has like gone down in the zeitgeist i think people like aren't watching catfish anymore they don't know mm. that everyone that they're talking to online is not who they say they are oh. so like make sure it's who you think you're talking to because if oh. it's just some hot guy you found on the internet like <gasps> odds are you have just hit on something huge that i'm ashamed that we didn't pick up on you're so right. Is that it is big. Is it because you're a fan of catfish? Um, I fall asleep watching catfish every day. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm like the world's biggest. What's his name? Neve. Neve. Neve Shulman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you guys didn't know I'm a big catfish fan. I've got a Neve Shulman right here. <laughs> 
A Neve Shulman back yeah, tattoo. Wait, what? Yeah, I have a Neve Shulman back tattoo. Wait, can I see it, please? I don't have a Neve Shulman back tattoo. Oh, I just believed you. I was like, fuck, okay. Fucking dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> what a dumbass. You said something, you believed it. Oh, yeah, stupid. small brain not so good at the subtext. Stupid, yeah. stupid, 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 boo, boo, boo. Um, Yeah, I think that's cool that you like someone, but it might be an old man <laughs> to lie to you. <laughs> An old man, 19. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think... Uh, it's basically dead. Going yeah. back to Catfish, I actually like Max from Catfish better than Neve, but he left like a bunch of seasons ago. Yeah. Yeah, but he was really hot. Max mm. was really hot. Yeah. And he was really nice. Like, I remember at one point, some guy was talking about how like sometimes men just cheat on women, and he was like, you know how it is. And Neve was like, I guess. And then Max just looks at him and goes, no, man, I don't know how it is. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Max would get frustrated sometimes. He did not like to see injustice. Yeah, and I loved that about him. It was yeah. it was sexy. Catfish was cool. Catfish I've was never a cool seen show. a single episode. You should get a new Shulman ever. back tattoo. That would be kind of sick. As honestly. big as your back. That would be <laughs> just his face. And if anyone asks you about it, you're just like, I've lived a lot of lives. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, when did you get that? I'm like, two months ago. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this was a recent choice. What time? Uh, uh, when? What time is it? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Sure, wait, let's get some tattoos right now. I've never had one. I maybe I should get one. You should get a bunch. Yeah. You should get more than you want. <laughs> you should get someone have to cover them up within the year. You should get one of those um you know how Johnny Depp had the Winona Ryder uh Winona Forever tattoo and Aww. then they broke up and he was getting it removed. I should get a Winona Ryder tattoo. But yeah. he got it he he couldn't get so much of it removed because it was painful. So it became Wino Forever. So then he became an alcoholic, and then he, and then he was he wasn't such a good guy after that. Yeah, and then he yeah. yes ended that way too close to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but right. I believe we're coming to the final uh, segment of the episode. However, we do have some uh, Patreon content coming up very soon, which I hope you stick around for and go on uh, Patreon.com forward slash Meerkats Pod. Uh, we can have some fun stuff. But right now, end of the episode. Uh, Julie, we have this uh, segment called Self-Perception Corner. Would you please say how you believe you are perceived by other people? And then we say how we we say how we actually perceive you. That is horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> when we had Max Gross on, he said, wait, really? <laughs> that is, this, was, is this a joke? No, this is real. No, this, this, is, no, this is 100% real. No, we're just going to be real genuine right now. Is this yeah. a fucking joke right now? <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, we're just fucking around. The segment's called Poo Poo Pee Pee. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, it's about whether you like... It's another question from Josh Nasser about... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, how do I perceive myself or how do I think other people? How do people? you believe other people perceive you? Um, I guess you can also talk about how you perceive yourself. You can, yourself. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's also, yeah. Um, I guess, like, people perceive me as, like... Um, uh, like... I do art stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like, what am I the most vocal about? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I feel like I, I'm, yeah, I, I make, I make shirts and um, I think I'm pretty nice or at least I try to be. Uh, I really don't know. This is something I struggle with. I really don't know how people perceive me. I don't really know how I perceive myself either. Mm. Um, so was that at all a sufficient I think so answer? yeah yeah okay. absolutely no uh so, do you want me to go first I can go first I think mm-hmm. for me definitely very nice you're one of those people I actually don't remember when I met you for the first time um but I feel like every time I see you I want to impress you I just like you, well, you you're you're very cool and you I think what being cool is, is not even necessarily like how people dress or how they present. It's more of like, to me, it's very cool to see someone earnestly like what they do. And you, it's very clear. You like your comedy, you like your art and you like your people. And because you like have such deep wells of passion, you like make me want to be better. Like you make me not want to be like a piece of shit, just like fucking around all the time. Yeah. Like, and you're like funny. So that's helpful as well. I think what's I think because I I agree for all of that, but another bit of it is, 
I also have, like, every time I've been around you, I have felt this need. I was like, okay, I really want Julia to like me. I really, <laughs> really want- I really want to impress you because it's not just that you're funny in your stand-up. It's that you're funny in a way that it feels like everything about your voice and everything about how you know yourself to be is aligned. And it's so clear in your stand-up as well as in every other aspect of your life. I feel like this is a person who knows who she is. And it's... That because I I struggle a lot with trying to figure out what kind of person I want to be like online and stand up. And I, I, I struggle figuring out like exactly what my voice and when I see I'm like this person has at least that figured out. And that's a very impressive thing. And it's something I it, it makes me want to be better. I think it's interesting, too, that you said, like, you don't know how other people perceive you because that probably on some level translates to like not necessarily it, it's not that you don't care, probably, but it's like you can't care too much because if you think about it, it'll drive yourself crazy. Like, I, yeah. Well, okay. First, I want to say thank you. That was so nice, but also it would have been so much funnier for you guys to just tear me to shreds. Right <laughs> <laughs> Such a funny way to. Well, end. We haven't done that with you. a guest yet. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Is also you're just gonna say something nice anyway. Hmm. Well, yeah, you're but not we're gonna also make gonna come all the way to Prospect Park and yeah. be like, everyone thinks that you're actually like a weird, selfish, fake cunt. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Um, this is a long commute for that. Yeah, maybe if we were in Williamsburg, but because <laughs> uh, that's just a couple stops away. But anyway, yeah. I um, that's very nice. Um, no, I care about how people perceive me for sure. And I do feel a lot of anxiety about it. Um, and I think that's because I don't really know, like, how I'm perceived, like, in a nuanced way. But I know? think it's the not knowing that it's like this. It's almost like you relinquish control over it because you're just like, I don't know. And that makes you seem like a lot cooler to people because it's like, Oh, she's just doing her thing. Whereas a lot of people I do think put like a curated effort into how they're perceived, which yeah. is less cool. Well, I think I, I think I maybe do do that, but in like a in my own way. Yeah. Like I curate like my show very specifically. Sure. And like mm. I I understand that that's like part of who I am. So maybe like that's kind of similar but i don't know i never i guess i don't think about how that like reflects on like how people would perceive me but i don't know i, I will know. say that's like, a really good question people i do know that like some people are intimidated by you in like a positive way like there's a girl talking to me at your show who's like oh my god i'm so scared to talk to julia and i was like why she's so nice you should talk to her that's so crazy but she was later i'll tell you who it is off camera but she was just like oh my god i'm scared to talk to her that's so, yeah, I, I've gotten, like, that I seem intimidating, and I don't think that the way that I, like, physically present myself, like, is helpful to that. <laughs> um, yeah. But. Hey, fuck! I, the, the hot girl with the tattoos, so, yeah. she's so easy to talk Can to. I, yeah, okay. those are things I, that don't, like, a lot. I may save this for the Patreon, but when I judged your roast battle against Kevin Mulherin, I thought of, like, sort of a roast joke for you not really but it's like it's a, an it's like a joke it. about what i think you look like that i'm gonna say for the patreon actually. oh my god i'm so i get to hear it right yeah yeah oh i'll say I'm it not too fucking you. just subscribe <laughs> i'm not paying i'm not paying <laughs> yeah <laughs> but julia where can people find you yes okay um you can find i'm only i'm on instagram you can find me on instagram at julia underscore desmond please uh follow my show at acme review spelled r-e-v-u-e -E. next one is october 20th will this be this will be this uh you this may not come out until after that's okay there'll be another we have, one we have two more um no wait we have one more next I think week it'll and be then, out by then actually yeah it october might be, 20th yeah, yeah. October, october 20th, 20th yeah if not there'll be more follow the account oh and, no i think um, it will be yes it will be and i make then. custom shirts and um you can get you can submit to get one um from a link that's in my bio on instagram but not right now because i've been displaced from my studio because of a mouse infestation <gasps> Boo. oh no it's okay i live there too anyway oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay i just live in it's sleep okay there. i've uh, got nowhere to live right now but that's okay oh. yeah no i do uh freddie and isabella are letting me sleep on there that's a very I, nice yeah thing. anyway um this was really fun and you yes. guys have a fun podcast Thank, Thank you, you so You're much. You're a fun guest. Lucas, what do you got to plug? Your butt? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, let me see. I don't, I don't have that much off the top of my head in like the, like in the near future. Yes. But like in like two weeks time, I don't, uh, have much that I can plug at the moment. 
Uh, I, I have, I'm going to be auditioning for Westside Comedy Club November 18th. I know that for sure. So if you want to come nice. to that, please do. Um, I can't think, I know I have some others, but no, yeah, I'll post about it on my Instagram. You'll, you'll, you're on there at Lucas T. Arnold everywhere. Uh, yeah. What about you? Uh, if you haven't already followed my show, wait, but are you sure? Next one is October 26th. Lineup drop is coming. Uh, we have a really fun show. It's just a kooky little concept. We quote, un- investigate people's sexualities. Because you can never really know. The yeah. uh, the purpose of the show is to make clear Steve Kowski bisexual and to figure out whatever the hell is going on with me. Yeah. So we will f- we will find out hopefully. But thank you for listening. Thank you. For thank listening. you for Julia Desmond. Thank you guys for having me. I hope I did a good job. Podcasts are not my forte. You did a great job. You Go forte Julia. it up. Thank you for, uh, to our producer Olivia Senna, who's yes. not uh, uh, here right now, but we'll be soon. We'll see you next time. Or oh, are you okay? No, you're good. You're golden. (laughs) You crushed it. You're doing great. We will see you on the Patreon. Please go there. If not, we will see you next week.